European Dairy Farmers Club is a farm is a club for farmers run by farmers um, it has a cost of comparison model put in place and this cost of comparison model allows dairy farmers in Italy to compare among themselves but also to compare with farmers in Ireland compare with farmers in Germany right across Europe and in fact anywhere in the world where a farmer uses the cost of comparison model so it has a lot to offer farmers it has it offers a forum for farmers where they can discuss issues farmer to farmer they're not talking through advisors they're not talking through technical people it's experienced farmers talking to experienced farmers from different countries and sharing their uh, difficulties sometimes uh, sharing how they can be successful when the dairy EDF also of course looks at what might happen in the future they have an interest in the whole volatility that's around milk prices the view of the EDF is that over time the milk will migrate, milk production will migrate towards the northwest of Europe where the rainfall is. Uh, the, when the quotas go, my own view is that we will have very volatile prices, but no more volatile than they have been over the last five years. Quotas have not managed milk price for quite some time now, and we cannot blame uh, the ending of the quota system for the volatile milk prices that's going to happen anyway so we have to learn how to deal how to manage our own farms and our own industry with these volatile milk prices we have to put structures in place we have to put protections in place for vulnerable producers uh, so that in the future that we, they can manage the price volatility and I think that um, Ireland certainly has been dealing on the world markets for a long time, perhaps different to some of the European uh, dairy producers. And dealing with, with uh, this situation, you have to deal with uh, the supplier, deals with the customer directly. You give the customer what they want. You put a long-term contract in place so that at least, least you protect a percentage of your production. This is very important so that you're not exposed to the spot market, for example. Um, oftentimes, the volatility uh, doesn't become a reality for particular uh, milk producers because they have bought into long-term contracts. So they're, they're not affected in the same way. So there is quite a difference uh, between different companies as, the, as how they're affected uh, by the volatile markets. So I think we shouldn't lose sight of that and it's important that your own company has a very effective strategy going forward. And I think farmers should become involved in that and should demand that their processors have a robust strategy to deal with volatile markets.